Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, we are going to be going over 10 things that you absolutely have to know before playing Pokemon Legends Arceus next week. These are going to be tips and tricks for the game, and also some cosmetic things that you might not know about, and some things that could impact your decision on where you even get the game. So with that being said, let's jump right into things. Now this first tip has to do with the starter Pokemon of the game. Your starter choice might be a little more complicated than you initially expect. There's a growing expectation among fans, even though it hasn't officially been confirmed, that Rowlet, Cyndaquil, and Oshawott, the three starter Pokemon of Legends Arceus that are not native to the Sinnoh slash Hisui region, are going to evolve differently in this ancient region. So when you get to that final form, and you're planning your team, you might want to be prepared for something that's different than the typical Decidueye, Typhlosion, or Samurott that we already have. They're probably going to be different. If they weren't, it doesn't really make a ton of sense that they haven't shown the evolutions off at all. And with the fact that we're getting Hisuian forms in these games, which if you guys haven't been checking out the shorts I've been doing, there's a whole link to the playlist right now on Hisuian forms that we should get. It just makes a lot of sense that we're probably going to get some of the starter Pokemon since they are ripe to get new evolutions and they're not native to the Sinnoh region. A lot of reasons just to be a little bit more prepared for your starter Pokemon choice. Another one that has to do with starter Pokemon here, you're actually able to catch the original generation 4 starters out in the wild of Hisui. If you want to add a Charmander, a Turtwig, or a Piplup to your team, you're going to be able to do so. You're going to be able to explore the region of Hisui, find these Pokemon roaming around in their natural habitats, catch them, of course, do some Pokedex research, and add them to your team. If you want to have what we got in X and Y, which was multiple starter Pokemon on your squad, you're going to be able to do so in Legends Arceus with these original starters and the starters that come from other regions. Speaking of catching Pokemon, this is probably the biggest piece of advice that you can get for Legends Arceus. Catch every Pokemon you can. It seems by all of the trailers and all the information we've gotten that Legends Arceus is solely based on completing that Pokedex. Of course, there's the story with Arceus and what it's doing to some of the enraged wild Pokemon, but in order to get to the end of the game, you're going to need to continue logging entries into your Pokedex. That involves catching Pokemon, researching Pokemon, watching what they do in the natural world, among other things. The more Pokemon you catch of a certain species, it seems the more information is going to be filled into your Pokedex. There's going to be goals and side quests that involve you catching a certain number of Pokemon, so catch everything you can see. This is sort of like Let's Go, where the name of the game was just catching Pokemon. It introduced a whole new catching mechanic for those purposes, but this is more mixed in with classic Pokemon gameplay. So if you see a wild Pokemon that you like, maybe a Wurmple that you think looks pretty cute, catch it. You're going to want as many as humanly possible. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. It doesn't appear that there are going to be a lot of trainer battles in Pokemon Legends Arceus. There are going to be more boss related trainer battles with some of the wardens who protect some wild Pokemon in Hisui. But overall, wild battles are the name of the game. Not only can you battle wild Pokemon that you want to catch or research for your Pokedex, but larger boss-like Pokemon also exist in the forms of Alpha Pokemon and Noble Pokemon. Now these guys are going to take a lot of work to defeat. You're going to have to use some physical attributes of your player character as well as Pokemon battles to take them down. These Pokemon, interestingly enough, are also going to play a key role in the story of the game, so be sure to log those Pokedex entries and be sure to catch as many of them as you humanly can, because if you're going to unlock the secrets of Arceus, it appears that these Pokemon are going to play a major role. Number four, if you've ever played a Monster Hunter game or Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, you will know that one of the biggest gameplay mechanics is resource gathering. It is the same way in Legends Arceus. A lot of the items that you're going to need to, need to progress are going to be things that you have to craft. Pokemon that you have on your team are also going to be able to help you gather these resources. We've seen Pokemon attacking trees and other overworld objects in order to help the player character collect items that will later be used in the game's crafting system. 
So you're going to want to gather everything you can because you never know what's going to help you make a Pokeball, a healing item, or something else to help you on your journey. This is a central piece of Legends Arceus. It is honestly probably the biggest gameplay loop that players are going to be addicted to. So be sure to collect everything that you can. It is very important for progress. Moving back to battles for a second, the system of battling has changed in Legends Arceus. Not only are wild battles and boss wild Pokemon the name of the game, but there are different styles of battle gameplay as well, those being agile style and strong style. The style you choose to go with for an attack is going to change how that attack impacts your opponent and affects the Pokemon using it. As an example, if you use a strong style move, your Pokemon's attack is going to increase, but your speed, for example, could be decreased. Choosing how to use these different attacks on certain bosses is going to determine a lot of how the battle goes. Now, we don't know how deep this mechanic goes just yet, but we do know that it is being heavily pushed in advertising, which makes you think it's probably going to play a central role in every single battle you take on in Legends Arceus. Now, unfortunately, we don't know if Pokemon are going to be able to follow you around in the overworld just yet, but it appears that a mechanic from Sword and Shield, that being camping, is going to return in Legends Arceus, and it's going to be more seamless than ever. From some of the gameplay information we've already gotten, it appears you're going to be able to send out your entire team at will and interact with them in the overworld map itself, or at least a really good copy. You're no longer going to have to be transported to a little gameplay pocket that looks different from the rest of the world to interact with your team. And it looks like it's taking some of the best elements from Sword and Shield and other Pokemon Ami refresh-like mechanics and introducing them into Legends Arceus. So if you're someone who really likes interacting with your team members, this is going to be a big piece, and it also has to do with the camps that are littered about the Hisui region. These things all seem to be connected, which is really exciting. Just like in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, you're going to be able to summon Pokemon to traverse the overworld and interact with the overworld without actually having to use them on your team. Using an item called the Celestica Flute, you're going to be able to summon the required mount at will. So you're not going to have to worry about having a Weirdeer on your team, for example, if you want to get across the region of Hisui faster. These Pokemon are going to be able to be summoned, just like Pokemon were in BDSP to use HMs. It does appear that you're going to have to use Pokemon on your team to physically interact with the world as if to gather resources, for example, but for navigational purposes, you're going to be able to summon these Pokemon right from an item. So you don't have to worry about wasting team slots for this, at least. These last two are a little more cosmetic. Number nine, of course, is that there are plenty of websites offering pre-order bonuses for Pokemon Legends Arceus. An example is PokemonCenter.com, where you can get a special Arceus plush with your copy of the game. Obviously, you could just order it from Amazon and get the game through Prime on day one, but I would recommend checking a bunch of these websites to see what the best deal is for you. There's notebooks, plushes, different keychains and posters, tons of different things that you're going to be able to get with Legends Arceus from some of these websites. So take a look around, you might find something that you really like. Lastly, there are bonuses in Legends Arceus if you own other Switch Pokemon games. If you have BDSP save data, for example, the game will unlock a special Darkrai event for you. Subsequently, if you have Sword and Shield save data, you're going to gain access to a Shaman event. Even Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee save data are going to give you something. You're going to get special masks that your character can wear in-game, either with a Pikachu or an Eevee. So make sure you have these other games loaded onto your Switch, and you're going to be able to get more out of Legends Arceus. That is the entire list. Those are 10 things that you need to know going into Pokemon Legends Arceus so you have the best experience. If you learned something new in this video, let me know down in the comments section. And if there's a tip or a trick that you think I missed that you want other players to know, leave that in the comments as well. And of course, if you enjoyed these 10 things, please sure to leave a like. And as I mentioned before, subscribe to the channel so you never miss any new content. With that being said, I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.